Rotted Reviews, and happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there that are celebrating this fine holiday responsibly. Unfortunately, Thanksgiving kind of finds itself in this weird place of the same ilk as Arbor Day and Burns Day and Valpurgis Noct, in which it's a fine holiday, but doesn't really receive a whole lot of horror movie love. Certainly not like Christmas, which is just inundated with all sorts of festive horror slaughter movies and so forth. But even so, Thanksgiving actually does have a few. I've already reviewed Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving 3. And I was kind of, well, I wanted something fresh, something new, something that was hopefully not fucking terrible. And I stumbled across this movie, 2019's Pilgrim. So this is not technically a standalone movie. This is actually part of Hulu's series Into the Dark, Season 2, Episode 2. But when we're really getting right down to it, it is an hour and a half long. The storyline is completely compartmentalized from any others in the series. And we're talking about a gruesome level to this movie that is, well, frankly, a lot more than even would show up on American Horror Story. So... Really, we're talking about a movie, so let's just go ahead and call it that. And in my opinion, it is the first Thanksgiving horror movie that is actually worth a damn. Thanksgiving, I thought, was fun. It was bad, but fun. Kind of held itself back just a little bit from being so bad it's good, but it's still a fun movie, and it's certainly to kick on for your relatives and watch them squirm. Thanksgiving 3, in my opinion, was just beyond any sort of redemption whatsoever and should be avoided at all costs, even if you're a fan of the original Thanksgiving. It was just terrible. But Pilgrim, Pilgrim was something special. This was directed by Marcus Dunstan and written by Marcus Dunstan, Noah Feinberg, and Patrick Melton. And in it, we get introduced to the character of Cody, played by Rain Edwards. And Cody is a very, well... She has trouble with Thanksgiving. You see, her biological mom left her dad on Thanksgiving while she was a child. And now we fast forward to when she's a young adult and is in a situation where she's not really that keen on her new family dynamic. She has a stepmom and she has a little brother. She actually really tends to love her little brother and I actually like that dynamic quite a bit. But her and her stepmother, it's a little bit oil and water. They don't really get along well together. And it becomes very apparent when the mother is trying to engage with Cody over Thanksgiving. The one holiday where she should probably back off just a little bit. She really ramps it up. Really tries for that mother-daughter partnership. And how does she do that this year? Well, by eliciting the services of a team of actors that dress up as pilgrims and try to put on a traditional Thanksgiving feast. No fucking way. They come to your house, they basically invade your house, they put on a show and a feast that is supposed to harken back to the ye olde times of Thanksgiving, at least our modernized whitewashed version of it. And conceptually, Cody is having none of it, Uh, understandably so in my opinion. However, what none of them expect is for Ethan to be the pilgrim walking through their door, played by Peter Giles. And this is where things start taking a little bit of a sinister turn, as Ethan invades their home alongside other pilgrims to build sheds in their backyard and really, really get to town on making this a ye olde type Thanksgiving. And in doing so, there's also this recurring theme of gratitude. The really is obsessed with gratitude. He wants to make sure that, by God, you are thankful this Thanksgiving. The Bible tells us, practice gratitude. And it is of utmost importance to me that you know how truly thankful I am. Noted. And that's as much as I'm going to get into on a spoiler-free review level. Suffice it to say, shit gets bonkers. And that's one of the things that I love most about this movie, is we're talking about something that's a fairly absurdist situation at face value. And instead of winking at the camera and cracking wise, this movie takes itself 
very seriously and leans into that absurdity. It really knows what it is, and it is unashamed. It is unabashed, and it is unapologetic. I really love it when simple concepts are taken to their extremes, and one of the things that really sells this movie extraordinarily well is the performances of the two lead actors. Rain Edwards playing Cody was great. She was sympathetic. She was strong. She was spoiled and obnoxious, which went well with the infractions upon gratefulness and so forth. But the character was well fleshed out and dynamic. And Peter Giles playing Ethan was... Perfect. He was such a great villain in this movie. And it's one of those things where, in my opinion, one of the best villains uh, is somebody that thinks that they are right, at least on surface level, that they are following a noble cause. And that's the impression that I got with the Ethan character and Peter's performance of it, is that he really was, in some sadistic, weird, twisted way, trying to help some of these people by showing some gratitude and learning what it means to be thankful, even if that means taking some things away. Now, I'm sure this probably won't win a whole lot of awards. This is, at the heart of it, some silly, campy fun that has plot holes aplenty, not the least of which the fact that they're in a suburban setting and what happened to the neighbors? Well, all this chaos is going on. Why haven't the cops been called? But you really can't Think of it on that level. You really just have to accept that this is not a thoughtful tour of a museum. This is a roller coaster ride. It's designed to strap in, have some fun, puke on the way out, and you're golden. And on that basis, I emphatically recommend the first Thanksgiving horror movie I've been able to recommend, the 2019 movie slash Into the Dark Season 2 Episode 2, Pilgrim. Thank you very, very much for watching this. I really appreciate it. If you like this, please click like and subscribe. And remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that you're good and grateful.